Hey everyone, Paddy from Smarter here, bringing you open data and knowledge to help you protect yourselves from the air we breathe. Where am I today? I'm actually in our brand new Smart Air office. We renovated this over the past couple of weeks. New floor, new paint, and a lot of new furniture and stuff. Now I'm shooting this video today because I'm gonna talk to you about formaldehyde and VOCs. Formaldehyde is actually a gas which can irritate the throat, irritate the eyes. Over longer periods can give you a headache or sore throat. So often when we renovate a building, paint, new furniture, floorboards, we can be bringing in formaldehyde and VOCs. And uh, we've definitely got a little bit in this office. So what I'm gonna be doing to get rid of these VOCs is over the next day, I'm gonna be running a couple of what we call cookouts. So exactly how does a cookout work? Well, what you need to do is you need to close all the windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and close these windows now. Now this might actually be counterintuitive. You're thinking, why are you closing the windows? If we've got gases coming out of the paint, out of the wood, probably wanna be opening the windows to let the gases out, right? Well, that makes sense. And if there's people in the, in the building, then that's probably what you want to do. But when nobody's in, the smart thing to do is to close all the windows to try and heat up the room. And if, if possible, turn on an aircon to bring up the temperature even more or turn, up, turn on the heat, which lets out the formaldehyde even quicker. And when you do that, maybe for the whole day, for eight hours, four hours, you'll do that. You'll bring the temperature up and then you want to open all the windows. So I'm going to go ahead and do that today. All right, so we're actually halfway through our cookout tests now. Uh, I've been running the air con here on hot 30 degrees for the past few hours. Oh, it's pretty warm. Uh, the, the temperature in this office now has risen to about 26, 27 degrees Celsius. And we've been measuring and monitoring the air quality with some devices down here. Uh, we have seen a small increase in VOCs, although not that huge. And the next step is for me to give it a little bit longer and then will be for me to turn off the aircon, open all the windows and start releasing all of these VOCs out from our office. All right, so we finished the cookout. I've downloaded the data from our formaldehyde detector. I've analyzed the data. Let's take a look at a graph. And over here on the left-hand axis, we can see what's called formaldehyde levels. So this actually, as I've explained earlier, isn't real formaldehyde levels, but this is a, a rough approximation using the device we have. And we see it goes from roughly 0.3 up to uh, 0.8 up here. So we can see at the start of the test around 12.30, uh, uh, when we had the windows and the doors and everything open, just after one o'clock, we, uh, we closed the windows and turned on the aircon on hot. You can see the numbers immediately start to increase throughout those kind of five hours or so. And, and this is really showing that, you know, formaldehyde's building and building in the room. And then at about kind of 5.30, we opened the windows and the doors and turned the aircon off. So, uh, and immediately we saw the pollution levels dropping and they dropped pretty, pretty rapidly down to a level of about 0 0.1. So what, what's really interesting here is to note that then at the end of the test or the end of the cookout, we had a level of 0 0.1, which is lower than 0 0.3. So this test was successful in this, in this case. All right, so you've seen the data and we've seen that that cookout worked, which is great news. And now I'm just gonna give you a few tips and kind of summarize what we've learned in this video. Number one, you really need to have some form of solution or plan in mind to solve any formaldehyde issues in your home. It doesn't really matter. We use really, really environmentally friendly wood floor furnitures, all old from the old office, but still we had formaldehyde levels in the office. Secondly, these kind of devices for measuring formaldehyde, they're not incredibly accurate. This one I told you was just gave us a rough, rough value, even though this cost a few thousand dollars. And the ones that you can pick up for, you know, $50 are maybe even less accurate, but they can give us a good kind of rough idea of whether or not we have formaldehyde in the home. Another great thing to use is actually just your nose if you can smell it or if you feel a little bit uh, wheezy and well, could be that you have a formaldehyde problem. Number three is a great way to solve formaldehyde is to do what's called a cookout. So a cookout, as we've seen, you close the windows, close the doors, turn on your aircon, turn on your heating as high as possible to try and really heat up the room. And the hotter you can get it to, the more it will be let off. And once you've done that, open up the windows, open up the doors, let all that formaldehyde out. So best to try and do at least one, maybe two or three cookouts 
before you moved into your office or home. The fourth step is we, we know that formaldehyde is let off really slowly from furniture. Uh, research from Hong Kong shows that that's roughly two years. So after renovating two years, your furniture, floor, paint, uh, whatever you have in the house that's new will be letting off small, small levels of formaldehyde. So you need to be doing something about that. And what we recommend for that is carbon filters. So actually in the, in the Smart Air office, after we did the cookouts, when we moved in, we brought in about 20 kilos of activated carbon and we put it inside our blasts and our blast mini purifiers. And we've kept them running uh, this whole time that we're here, as well as switching out the, the carbon filters pretty regularly uh, once they get saturated. I'm happy to say now behind me in the Smart Air office, we have everyone moved in, everyone seems pretty happy with the environment. No, no questions of formaldehyde, so that, that's great. Hope this was useful for you. If you want to learn more, we have plenty of articles on formaldehyde and on what you can do as well as activated carbon and how that can help. Uh, or leave a comment if you have any questions. We'd love to hear from you. and We'd love to see what you've done to solve formaldehyde maybe in your home. All right, thanks everyone and breathe safe. Hey guys, Paddy again. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell notification below to make sure you get the latest news and stay up to date on the best ways to protect your health, your body, from everything we breathe.